Thank you for tuning in to this PAX East 2024 Doubles Championship. On your far left, you have Jake Butkus, partnered with his brother Jeremy Butkus in the gray hoodie. The two gentlemen dressed in black on your left are Nick Osmore and on the far side, Mr. Ian Shaw. We started out on this Friday night of the PAX East in the Crokinole Zone with 104 players. 52 teams duking it out. Fantastic matchups. The semifinals were incredible. Unfortunately, we didn't catch those on video, but we got the finals here. Ian Shaw, first to act. Comes up a little short. Jeremy Butkus going for a follow through 20. Loses, it gets the off, but loses his shooter. Nick Osmore settles in, drains that open 20. Jake coming up a little bit short. Let's see if Ian is able to use this backboard to his advantage. Nice. Nice take out 20. As players settle into their groove here. Nick goes a little long on his open 20 offering. There's Jake, sits on the right side of the hole. Ian Shaw weighing out his options. What's he gonna do here? Likely looking for a follow through or some sort of drift to get away. Catches a peg on the way in, leaving the sliver of opportunity for the Butkus brothers to get back in this. Setting Nick up with the old Mickey Mouse. Double back or double take out 20. Fantastic shot. Up three to one in the 20 cup there against the hammer. Still lots of discs left here. As Jake settles in, finds his range, little twirly bird 20. Shaw goes a little long. May have left this in a nice spot for Jeremy to get the take out 20. Little bit off on that offering. Leaves an opportunity for Nick Osmore. Nice defensive play there. Rolls away, not leaving Jake a lot to work with. Nice takeout, good position. Osmore and Shaw being up a 20. They are they are in uh, on the right side of this round. Jeremy Buckus loses everything again, forcing play back to the middle. Nick makes him pay for that by draining an open 20, going up four to two in a very commanding lead in this first round. <laughs> Ooh. Ian catches another peg. Oh, comes up a little short on that. They weren't completely out of it, but uh, they're pretty much shooting dead at this point. Unless Nick decides to give them a 20 because he's feeling like a nice guy, and I don't think he's that nice. All he needs is an off and to generate two 20s with this shot, and they'll tie the round. Unable to convert. First two points go to Ian Shaw and Nick Osmore in this race to 11. Oh, nice double takeout 20 for Nick. Jeremy first to act in this next round. Oh, he was reaching for that one, and I understand why. That was in and out. Nick weighing out his options, decides to take this from the backside with a going for a follow through. Nice push, little off on the angle. Mmm. Tough. Shaw is able to convert on this open 20. A little off and leaves a tough, uh, leaves himself tough. Wow. Butkus goes a little too much power on that one. See if Nick is able to make him pay. Oh, almost with the touch 20. Hmm. That's all kinds of trouble in there. I have no idea what he should be doing with this. Deciding to go through his own. <laughs> the brothers look at each other in shock. Oh, why won't we go in its hole? You too good for your home. Yeah, 
Very interesting situation set up here. Yeah, Shaw just settles for just to secure a valid shot. And that was not a bad strategy by any means. You go gunning for too much and you're asking for trouble in there. Like Nick is gonna go through his own to secure a off on the far side. Is he looking for a 22? He can be greedy sometimes. I'm not sure if he was. A little fast forward action here. There's a couple times in this match that uh, some extra time was taken to make some decisions. So when possible, we're gonna speed that up a little bit. Mm, drains a 20 for the opponent. The cardinal sin of Crokinole. say every year we come back to PAX the competition gets stronger and uh, we get definitely get to see some familiar faces and these uh, Butkus brothers are two of those familiar faces I think that they have been hanging out in the Crokinole zone every year that we've gone there are certainly the last few that's for sure and uh, they just keep getting better but they're there we're there for four days with Crokinole board spread out all over in the Crokinole zone and these two are here just lapping up as much as they can and uh, always doing well in the tournaments as well now the other two, Nick Osmore and Ian Shaw are great ambassadors of this game. Nick is up in the New Hampshire area and uh, the state and uh, Ian Shaw a little closer to Boston. These two do a fair bit for the Crokinole scene. Clubs, events, get togethers and uh, yeah, great ambassadors of the greatest game on earth. And obviously great competitors as they, as they found their way to the finals here today. And in pretty good position, up 220s with the hammer. A little bit of red on the board, but uh, nothing to be too stressed out about when you've got 40 points sitting in the cup. Nice takeout. No need to do too much. Coming down to the last couple shots here. Almost getting to the point of being inconsequential. Let's see if Nick, what Nick's going for. Looks like he's going to try to drive that red disc through the house. Maybe get rid of a couple in the process to make sure. Hmm. Yeah. Good power. I'm going to say he likes his follow through. You saw how far that went. Uh, how far, just how far that follow through went after making contact with the opponent. There it is. Two more points go to Osmore and Shaw. Did you see the touch 20 offering by Nick Osmore? And you see a double takeout by Nick Osmore. He had a good round there. Up 4 nothing. first act in this next round. Oh, goes a little long and leaves a backboard for Jake Butkus to work with here. Oh no! Super nice guys doling out 20s for the opponent. Nice shot by Ian Shaw. Didn't try to do too much there as that was posted. Osmore and Shaw in control again here. Up a 20. Play on the outside. Forcing Jake to shoot all the way through the house to the other side. Jake loses a shooter. A 20 here would really put huge pressure on. Nice. They're against the hammer, but they're up 220s. Jeremy finds his range, draining that open 20, putting some pressure on. Oh, Nick goes long, but ended up in a pretty good position. There's not much Jake's going to be able to do with that, other than secure a Take out. He says slowly as he's not sure if it's going to happen or not. It's a long day for me and I am an extrovert. Oh. <laughs> mm. Looking for the off there. Did not secure it. They're able to get, yeah. 
Buckus Brothers get that takeout, so they're sitting two on with the hammer. Obviously, they'd love to have a 20, but even if they're uh, if they're able to sit two on, they've got a pretty good chance of being able to overcome that 120 deficit. You see the third Buckus brother hanging out in the background, wanting to see how his brothers are doing. Right now, they're digging themselves a bit of a hole, down four to zero. And on the wrong side of this round, nice take out by Shaw. I'm sure Butkus was looking for the double take out there, but uh, he got one and, and demoted the other. Nick gunning for that angle in 20. May have left a backboard. Oh, unable to convert on that backboard. Leaves the backboard of his own for Ian Shaw. Ian Shaw unable to convert. They're all over it. See what Jeremy's able to do. I don't know if he's going to try to angle in off that black disc and use his own as a bit of a backboard. And he does. Oh, wow. Great shot. Great shot. Draws things even in the 20 cup. Osmore pushing for that follow through 20. Doesn't get the 20, but great push. Brings himself into the 15. Interesting. Two shots left for red. One shot left for black. But a lot of black on the board. Jeremy saying, don't try to go for the double. Gets the single. Interesting. Yeah, very interesting. What's he going to do with this? Looks like he's going to go for that uh, that one in the 10 from the outside. That's a, that's a tough looking shot there. Oh, Peggy Sue gets in the way. Simple take out of that one in the 15. Secures two points for the Butkus brothers. They are on the board. Jake first act goes a little bit long. Thought maybe he left Ian a backboard, but Ian's choosing to take it from the far side here. Oh, pushes everything outside. Not a terrible result. Jeremy gonna be forced to go through his own. Nice take out, they sit two on, but they are against the hammer. They're definitely gonna be needing to bring things back in the house, make something happen. Osmore wisely content with a single take out because he's not leaving, uh, it's not leaving Jake with many great options for his next shot. <laughs> Kept his shooter on, but he's left uh, he's left things on the far side for his opponent, which isn't uh, isn't the ideal. He's going to have to shoot all the way through the house here. Gets the takeout, but also loses his shooter. Forces things back to the middle. Osmore, can he make that hurt? Oh, super Steve goes all the way through the house. Let's start over. Eight buttons each. Jake makes that sting a little by draining the open 20. Pressure on Shaw. Oh, lips out just a bit and leaves a backboard. Nice. Able to convert on that backboard. Nick needs the 20 here. Oh, goes a little long. Let's see which one Jake decides to go after. Oh. 
Valid shot, but unable to secure the takeout. Let's see what Shaw is able to do with this. See if he can work his way in off that disc. Oh, so close. So close. He may have left that a bit close to the hole. We'll see if Jeremy's able to work with that. Maybe ought to get a touch 20, maybe even a takeout 20 off of that. He's weighing out his options. Maybe he just wants to stay on the outside. They're up 220s. Dealer's choice, really. Mm. Gets the takeout of the 15. Gets some separation between those red discs as well. Nick likely pushing for a follow through here. Mm, good power. Peg keeps him on the outside. Oh, yeah, he was fortunate to get the takeout there. A couple pegs. All right. Ian Shaw, let's see if he's able to work this play back into the middle. Oh, loses one of his own in the process of trying to get in the middle. Osborne Shaw have their back to the wall right now. They're down 220s. They've got hammer, but there's a lot of red on the board, and there's a lot of red in the cup. Oh, ho, ho, ho. double takeout and almost the follow through 20. Nice takeout. Buckus Brothers keeping play on the outside. Not leaving Shaw and Osmore much to work with. Nothing, really. They need 20s, and there are not 20 options there. Oh, Shaw trying to go through his own. Oh, secures the valid shot. It was Hail Mary time. I absolutely respect that. That was a great attempt. Nick looking to secure a 20. Oh, all right. Not it up. This is a back and forth battle. What are they playing, 11? Sean Osmore went up by four, and now they're knotted up 4-4. Four, four. Ian Shaw goes a little long. See if Jeremy's able to convert on that. A little too much steam on that, but they worked it. that worked out not too bad for him. See what Osmore tries to do with this. Is he going to push for another big follow through 20? Or is he going to wait for something better? Of course he goes for the big follow through 20. <laughs> the worst part of that is not securing the takeout. See what Shaw's looking to do here. Looks like he's going after the, well, they're both 10s, but the one closer to the middle. Maybe he's going to try to utilize a peg. Mm-hmm. Keeps it in the house. What's Nick trying to do on this one? He could try to take care of the one that's out in the 10. Make sure Ian doesn't have to deal with it later, or he can go he can go big. Go for a 20 here. Looks like maybe he's going to try to angle in. Not really sure. Angles in. Leaves things in an interesting position. Let's see what Jake's able to do with this. Oh, no! Oh. Yeah. Definitely a good good uh, recommendation there from Nick. That black disc is sitting awfully close, so maybe Shaw is able to utilize it. Oh, even though he didn't secure the 20, he removed that backboard so Jeremy didn't have it on his next shot. What's Jeremy going to go for here now? Oh, that was a great follow-through attempt. He had good power on that. Here we have another uh, another debate that gets fast forwarded. Talk faster, talk faster. Back to the action. 
Nice takeout from Nick. No 20s. Buckus Brothers with the hammer advantage. Not sure what Jake's trying to do here. Maybe he's looking for a little bounce back action off of that. Uh, he gets the takeout, but he may have left Shaw with a backboard. If he comes up that left side, looks like what he's squaring up to do. Oh no. Nick's experience showing again here as he makes suggestions for Ian to consider. Oh, no. Buck his brothers with the hammer and sitting three on. Nick pushing for that follow through 20. He was fortunate to not lose his shooter on that one. Likely looking to just hit and stick just enough to get rid of that black disc. Ian says round two, give me revenge on that. The exact same shot he had last time. Let's see what he's able to do. Nice, nice little touch, 20. Pressure on Jeremy to answer back, goes long. Unfortunate to not get the 20, but they sit four discs on. Gonna force Nick into uh, making a big shot here. Either that or maybe play some defense. Although it's not really a time for defense when you're down a 20 with four discs on. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure what happened there, but uh, it didn't go well. Lipped off that center hole somehow and hopped out into the gutter. Oh, I don't know if he meant to touch that on the way in, but regardless, they are up. Oh, wow. Wow, I misread that. No, it was uh, Shaw and Osmore that had the 120 advantage. But uh, all, still all sorts of red discs on the board. Knotted up in the 20 count at this point. Nick needs to do a lot with this shot. And it looks like he's going for a quad takeout here. He can do that and stay. Ah, yeah, he had to. He was in Hail Mary zone. Nice touch 20 by Shaw here. Nice touch 20 by Jake Butkus. Jeremy, first to act in this round. Oh, bounces back out of that 20 hole. Nick gunning for the 20, doesn't get the 20, also doesn't get the off. That five could prove costly later in the round. Oh, nice take out 20. Osborne and Shaw discuss whether to peel or not. They have the hammer. So that's definitely a, a strategy decision. They uh, choose to keep it on. Nice roll by Jeremy, but he may have left the left an opening there for Nick to do a roll in. Oh, so close. Touched peg a little bit on the way in, but almost got that 20. Leaves it on the right side of the hole for Jake. Mm. Jake got him for that follow through 20. He may have left Shaw an option for a touch 20 here, maybe even a takeout. Let's see what he goes for. Nice. Great touch on that one. Draws even in the 20 cup. Osmore and Shaw with the hammer, but Red is sitting two discs on.
Nick wisely takes the disc on the far side, not leaving Jake anything but a takeout, which he misses. Shaw weighing out his options, whether he wants to take this from the outside or go through the house. Nice from the outside, leaves him in a nice position there. Osmore and Shaw sitting two on with the hammer. They are in great position. Oh, spoke too soon. Beautiful roll in 20, pressure on Shaw. Ah, Shaw goes long on that offering. Sitting two black discs on. Oh, double takeout. That was nice, other than what it's leaving Nick the option to do here. He may be able to tuck himself in behind the peg, leaving Jake with a unpleasant shot and there it is there it is fantastic positioning on that oh hoo -hoo. great touch there I thought that was really well hidden not much he's going to be able to do to get in he's likely just going for the hit and stick at 15 on the board. That's not enough, but uh, it's a good start. Hmm. Rolls out. Looks like it has touching the five. So. Oh no. Loses a shooter. That could prove costly. If Osmore can convert on this open 20, Jeremy Butkus steps away to reconsider his life. How he got here. Oh. Osmore unable to make that hurt. <laughs> I think Jeremy thought that round was over and his brother's going, no dude, there's still two discs left. All right, at this point, this is hammer shot. All Shaw needs is a take out, but he needs to stay in the 15 in order to secure the tie. Oh, he stayed in the 15, but he did not get the off. Beautiful shot, fantastic shot. That was a rain cha round changer right there. Another great shot by the other Butkus brother as he secures a double takeout. They are up eight to four in this race to 11. Nick opens up with a 20. Jake goes long. Shaw dropping to the side. He's able to secure another 20. That'll have them in good position in this round. Oh, just a titch off. Jake and Jeremy with the hammer advantage in this round. So though they're down to 20, they're sitting two discs on. Nick content with the single takeout. They're going to wait and let the opportunity come to them. And this may be it right here. Oh no, Shaw's, I wondered if he'd go for the angle in 20. Looks like he's going for the double, which is gonna be pretty tough to convert on with that, uh, the second one he was hitting that close to the pegs. There's a pretty good chance it was gonna jam up. Leaves the door open, they, they even up the 20 cup. 120 each. Oh, Nick, just a titch off with that rollout. Jake deciding which side, which one to go after. Ooh, almost drops that 20. That's a pretty good position though. That does not leave Shaw with a lot to work with. Oh, ho, ho. almost made something out of nothing there. Let's see, will Jeremy go for the double takeout? It might be there. It might be there, although it's a little touchy. That fire disc lined up quite nicely with the uh, with the peg. Oh, yeah, maybe the double doubles there. Doesn't get the double, but what a great result. Leaves Osmore shooting all the way through the house.
Osmore Peels forcing play back to the middle. He knew if he did a hit and stick, they're sitting two discs on, but they're running out of bullets at this point. It would have allowed the Butkus brothers to just play possum with them on the outside. Oh, no. That choice pays off. See if Shaw can make it hurt. Oh, the Steve. We've seen some Super Steves. I think that's the first Steve we've seen. Oh, Jeremy goes a little bit long, and he may have left Osmore an opportunity for the off and 20. Convert here. Oh, unable to convert that. Advantage back to the Butkus brothers as they have Hammer. Oh, unable to secure the takeout. That said, I don't think Ian loves the options that he is left with here. How to do that without, without losing his own. That's the trick. Oh, ho, ho, ho. what a shot. That was the shot of the shot of the match right there. That was fantastic touch. Utilizing the opponent's button to just give his a little bump and drop it in. They're not out of the woods yet though. Two red discs on. See what Nick guns for here. Interesting position. That is not a fun shot for Jake. Not fun at all. That blast black disc looks quite posted. Yeah, he may not have had many options from there. If Shaw can convert that into a 20, they're going to be in fantastic position. Who knew Crokinole could be so darn stressful? Look at these guys. Going for a take out 20. Oh, doesn't get the take out or the 20. Looks like he's going to be forced to go through his own here. Let's see how this turns out. Oh, great shot. Oh, shot of the match right there. Here's a great shot too, though. Wow, fantastic. The brothers with the fist pumps. Even the opponents are applauding that. Oh, the excitement of the last round spills over to this one. He comes up a little short with a Steve Shaw. Makes him pay for that mistake, draining you open 20. They're up at 20 with the hammer. Mm. Jeremy Buck is coming up short this time. See if Osmore can convert on this. Maybe a drop back 20 there for him. Oh, you just forgot one crucial step of touching the opponent on the way in. Nice open 20 settles his nerves. Shaw looking like he's going to try to come up for a touch 20 up that line. Nice. He is finding his range. Making some great shots in these last couple rounds. Nice. All the players finding the range now. Let's see if there's a touch 20 here for Nick. Or take out. I can't really tell the angle from here. Oh, nice. Beautiful shot. Wow. Some high level crokinole happening right now. Ooh, a little long. Shaw potentially with another touch 20. And he gets it. Well done. Man is on fire. Back and forth. 4-3 Four, in favor of Osmore and Shaw in the 20 cup. And they have the hammer. They're in good position in this round. It's a good thing too because they got their back to the wall. They're down 10-4 in a race to 11. Oh, loses the shooter. May not be all bad. Forces play back to the middle. See if Shaw's able to convert on this. Oh, ho, ho. 
Oh, not cool. Lipped out and flew all the way out of the house. Jeremy's been fire up this line on 20s. Oh, a little off this time. Man, they could have used that. An offering for Nick Osmore. Let's see if he's able to convert. Quite a heavy hanger. Definitely not a gimme. Oh, no. That is not what you want right there. Letting them back in this round. That could prove costly. They're still in a decent position with the hammer and one on and not in. Oh, I was about to say not in a great position, but he almost converted on that anyway. See if Shaw is able to drop another touch 20 here up the opposite side. See him drop a couple up the other side. Oh, just a little too much mustard on that one. Gets the off, leaves Nick with a bit of an awkward shot. He's got to go through the house. He should have a line on it. Nice. Also nice that he leaves Jake shooting clean through the up, through the house. It's not a, uh, I was going to say it's not a tough takeout, but he's certainly not going to, uh, he's certainly not going to make a 20 out of that. Shaw settles down, see if he can drain a 20 here. Put this out of reach. He gets it. Jeremy needs an off and a 20 to even make him shoot. Ah, great touch. Takeo 20. Fantastic highlights in that round. 10-6 in favor of the Butkus brothers. And they have the hammer in this round. Jeremy unable to convert on that open 20. Nice hit and roll away by Osmore. Getting play to the outside. Great place to be while they're up a 20. Oh, wow. Nice angle in 20. Really putting the pressure on now, up two 20s. <laughs> oh, Jeremy goes long on that. Don't think there's an angle there for a 20, but let's see what Nick's able to do with this. Gets the takeout. Not leaving Jake with great options here. There may be a bit of a follow through drift 20. Ah, unable to convert on that. Shaw's had great touch these last couple rounds. Let's see if he can drop off of this one. Oh, nice. Going up 3-0 in the 20 cup. They are against the hammer, but uh, yeah, three 20s is hard to overcome. Seven shots left for each team. Nick content to hit and stick on the outside. Another fast forward debate here between partners. Discussing their options, which way do they want to go? Back to the action. All right, they've got play back inside. Nice take out by Shaw. Jeremy's going to need to convert here. They need to start getting some 20s or they are hooped in this round. Five shots left for each team. I'm sure if Nick's gunning for yet another 20. Hmm? Gets the takeout, sits in a nice spot in between the pegs. Buckus brothers basically have almost nothing to work with in there. Running out of bullets. Four shots left for each team. Oh. He's going to have to get an off and utilize a peg. 
Ah, uh, he tried to jam back off of that. Nothing doing. Yep, gets the takeout. This one is now out of reach. They would need, well, I shouldn't say that. They would need 320s, and uh, yeah, things would have to go amazingly well and disastrously bad for their opponents in order to turn that around. Mm. Players give up on this round. Move on to the next round. This race to 11 is now 10 to 8 in favor of the Butkus brothers. As we see a beautiful angle in 20 by Ian Shaw, then a nice drop back, touch 20. Jeremy first act goes a little bit long. See what Nick goes for here. See him wipe the wax. Look like he's going to be content with the hit and stick. Nice spot. Not quite posted, but it's certainly not an easy takeout for Jake. Jake secures the valid shot, but not the takeout. Now Shaw with a similar shot. Got himself uh, that red disc fairly well posted in there. That's okay. He's going to go up the line. That is tricky business too. Yep. Peg jumped out in front of his shot. Buckus Brothers with the opportunity to sit two on. As they do. See what Nick is able to do with this one. They do have the hammer, but at some point they need to generate a double, get themselves a 20-something. They can't uh, they can't rest on this. Content with the uh, hit and stick out in the 10. Oh, wow. I did not see the in off of that. What a, what a thin angle that was to get himself in there. Mm. Loses a shooter. Unfortunate. Buckus Brothers sitting two red discs on, and he drains that 20. The slow roller drops in. Now the pressure is on Osborne Shaw. He is going to need to roll in for a 20 off of this. A oh. little off on the weight, a little off on the angle, but, you know, all in all, from out in the five, that is a tough, tough shot. Ooh, not what he was looking for, but not a terrible result. Shaw's not going to have a lot to work with. Let's see if he's going to try to push in. That's a very, very tough push. Wow. Pushes into the house. Well done. It's like Schrodinger's cat. Not sure what happened. There it is. Almost secured that 20, but not quite. Oh, loses a shooter. Tough business. Buckus Brothers have an opportunity now to really put some pressure on, and they do with another open 20. Great shot. Shaw answers back, keeping it within reach. Very, very critical 20s at this point. Goes a little bit long. Tough. Shaw asking uh, Osmore if there's a touch up the line. Don't think Osmore likes it. <laughs> Opting for the big follow through instead. Oh, gets the op but loses the shooter. Jake with an opportunity to put extra pressure on here. Comes up short. Shaw's gonna need to convert on this. They are running out of bullets. Osmore and Shaw have hammer but they're down a 20. Ideally, they get the off and the 20, not a touch 20, but any 20 would be a benefit right now. Mm. Doesn't get the off or the 20. A little fast forward now as the players take extra time to debate this one. Which way should he take this from? Secures the takeout. May have left Nick with an option to angle in. May have left him with two options, but I think the one to his right looks more promising. 
Always a little hard to tell from this angle. But yeah, that's it's there, whereas the other one, I, uh, I'm not sure it is. Oh, catches that peg on the way in. Having a little discussion here. He is absolutely right. Jeremy saying if he doesn't put it in the middle, they have no option. He troughs his discs because now Shaw forced to shoot at the five. Congratulations to Jake and Jeremy Butkus for taking down the doubles championship. Congratulations to Ian Shaw and Nick Osmore for a fantastic run in this tournament. It was another fantastic day, another fantastic PAX East. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and make it a great day.